Hello, I'm Jackie Chan from Cultaholic.com, and this is the Wrestling News. Let's take a look at the headlines. Marty Jannetty has admitted to making a man disappear, and police are investigating. An NXT star has been pulled from an upcoming TakeOver 30 match, and a former WWE star has signed an exclusive Impact Wrestling deal. We'll tell you more in a bit. Probably, uh... Probably take that off for this first story. Marty Jannetty is a man who is no stranger to both controversy and ridicule. The former one half of the Rockers has made numerous social media posts in the past that have attracted, um, you know, a lot of attention from the wider internet wrestling community. And he is often a man who is poked fun at for his various Facebook posts. You can go and look at those if you so wish. They're all out there on the internet. Um, but this story is about something that he posted yesterday, which is very troubling indeed. I'm going to read Marty's post in full. Make of it what you will. There are a couple of words that I will have to redact as I go along. But Marty Janetti posting yesterday on Facebook. Um, publicly, by the way. I never told no one this, even my brother Gino, because Gino would have killed him, and I didn't want my brother gone. Hell, he'd only recently come home from Vietnam. I was 13, working at Victory Lane's bowling alley, buying weed from a derogatory word for a homosexual male that worked there, and he put his hands on me. He dragged me around to the back of the building. You already know what he was going to try to do. Uh, Marty continues, That was the very first time I made a man disappear. They never found him. They should have looked in the Chattahoochee River, but Winnie, the girl in these pics, and this post is accompanied by some uh, pictures of a woman, which we're not going to show for very obvious reasons. I likes you so damn much. Probably my favorite, but I promised myself way back then, nobody would ever hurt me again. That includes you. I loved you, but you hurt me with your effing Jamaican jealousy. You can go your own way. I don't need you. So, as I say, there is a lot of troubling stuff in this post. The first is that it sounds like perhaps he is he is threatening this, this Winnie woman um, just because of what he says previously in the post. Um, obviously, it sounds like he is confessing to killing a man when he says they should have looked in the Chattahoochee River. I mean, read between the lines. But also, the, 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 the opening of that paragraph there also, that was the very first time I made a man disappear, makes it perhaps sound like he's done this more than once. I mean, this is my own interpretation of the post, um, but as I say, make of it what you will. Um, the police are actively investigating this. Um, so Columbus, o Ge uh, Columbus, Georgia Police told TMZ that they are looking into a claim Marty Janetti made on Facebook that he killed a man when he was 13 years old. Um, the comment has since been deleted, um, but obviously it's been screen grabbed and there's a, a log of it. The department told TMZ that the first step will be seeing if we have any missing persons or unidentified remains cases that match the limited information in the post. Um, it's got to be said that, first of all, Marty Janetti has made various outlandish claims on Facebooks over the years. And so to take this with a, a massive grain of salt, but um, whether or not it's true, I think it's it's very clear that Marty Janetti is not a well man. Um, and I think that's been the case uh, for a long time. I think that's been obvious for a long time. And um, I'm not sure the, the ridicule that he's faced from the, the internet wrestling community, and now I, I guess this is going more mainstream, is going to be very helpful for his mental state at all. He is, uh, in various shoot interviews, he has made uh, some outlandish and often disproven claims. And he has made so many Facebook posts that indicate that he is not mentally well and realistically is a man who probably needs actual medical support rather than people poking fun at him. This is very, very worrying. Who knows if it's true? It's, it's in the hands of the police now. Um, but I would advise you before you go and, and, and you know, make a, make a tweet about Marty or, or do whatever, right? Or, or go on Reddit or... Before you talk about Marty, just think like he's, he's clearly not, he's clearly not well. Next up, and isn't it a beautiful day in Newcastle upon Tyne? It won't last long, don't worry. Sorry about the change in lighting. William Regal has announced a change to an upcoming match at NXT TakeOver XXX30. 
Uh, so William Regal on last night's NXT announced that Dexter Loomis will be unable to compete in the ladder match for the NXT North American title on that show due to injury. So he's he's out with an ankle injury. He's not expected to be out for, for too long, but you don't really want to be in a ladder match when you've got a poorly ankle, do you? You don't want to be in any match. Um, so unfortunately, Dexter Loomis has been pulled from that match, which is, is a shame because not only is Dexter Loomis... Personally speaking, one of my favourites, my favourite characters on NXT. But also, I thought he was in with a pretty good chance of maybe winning that thing. It's a good match, right? Because you've got so many big stars in there. You will have so many big stars in there. A ladder match sort of protects everyone. Because nobody's getting pinned. Nobody's tapping out or anything like that. It's just who can get up there. And you've got a winner, but nobody's getting beat as such. You know what I mean. You know what I mean. Anyway, there's some, uh, some changes to some upcoming episodes of NXT. Um, one specifically, rather. Uh, August the 19th uh, will now have um, two matches involving the four men that didn't get beaten in the qualifying matches. And then the winners of those two singles matches will get two of the remaining spots in that ladder match. Uh, that, ooh, that was thanks to complaints from Finn Balor and Johnny Gargano. Um, so, we will see... Um, Thus far, Bronson Reed and Damian Priest are in there, and let's see. Let's. See. I, I. I think it's going to be a hell of a match. I think it's going to be a real, like NXT always do ladder matches really, really well. In fact, they've got a bloody Dave Meltzer approved five star one. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. I think Takeover 30 is going to be fantastic. Roll on August the whatever it is. I can't remember. Next story. Next up, one of the released WWE superstars who has since popped up on Impact Wrestling Television has announced that he has signed an exclusive deal with the company. We are talking about none other than EY Eric Young. And I'm chuffed about this. And you've got to imagine that he's pretty chuffed about it as well. For Eric Young, I mean, Impact must feel like home for him, right? Because he had the greatest success in his pro wrestling career with that promotion, former world champion. They really invested in him and he was regularly featured on TV, which, you know, judging by what we've seen so far, he will continue to be regularly featured on TV. He's just a very, very talented guy. And I had all the, the hope in the world when he was signed by WWE. NXT Sanity, really, really fun stuff. Enjoyed it a lot. Smackdown Sanity lasted about 20 minutes, and the less said about that, the better. Anyway, he was talking to Gary Cassidy from Sports Kida, and he said, yep, I'm on an exclusive contract with Impact. I'm very excited about that. There you go, there's confirmation he is excited. Um, and he also mentioned that he feels like he has maybe five or six years left in pro wrestling, but he'll come to that decision. Um, further down the line. So expect to see him in Impact for a while. Obviously, there are other people who have popped up in Impact, the Good Brothers, Gallows and Anderson, who are also working for New Japan Pro Wrestling. Um, so they're gonna be out in Japan. Um, and there's, there's belief that some of the other names that have popped up in Impact won't just be exclusive to Impact. But if you wanna see EY, then tune in on Tuesday nights. And finally, AEW have launched a new, rather unique subscription service. It's called AEW Heels, and it's geared toward female wrestling fans. So you might remember reading about this before. Um, they did a bit of a soft launch earlier this year, and then it was due to launch properly on May 22nd. That didn't happen, it was postponed, and now it's launching properly. There's a big event on Friday, and I'll just go uh, really quickly go through the press release, because I think this sounds great. Um, they, for $49 a year, members receive access to a variety of features, including virtual meet and greets, video conference discussions with industry experts, exclusive AEW talent Q&A sessions, customized merchandise, special promotions, themed parties, and more. The, the secure space enables AEW Heels members to connect, learn, and thrive together through shared passions for women's wrestling. Um, and then they also mentioned in this press release what the event on Friday, the digital event on Friday will entail. There's a Q&A with Aubrey Edwards, the referee, the podcast and works in the office as well. Social media strategy session with Brandy Rhodes and a session on respect and empowerment in the workplace also. And this is, I just think it's brilliant. Like the amount of content that you're getting there for $49 a year, less than $5 a month, I think is astounding. It sounds really, really good. and. I don't think it's unfair to say that women are so often 
underrepresented, especially in the online wrestling community. And so if this plays a small part in improving that, then it can only be a, a good thing. There's loads on there that I would be fascinated about. Um, about hearing, um, I, I just think it's brilliant. So, um, AEW heels details are available on the AEW website and their social media, so go and check that out. Thank you very much for watching. Enjoy the rest of your day. I'm gonna run now to the office uh, because I'm doing the podcast later. It's, it's, it's a crazy old podcast today. You've got, you've got Matthew, you've got Tom, and you've got me. We, we're shaking things up because Ross and Jack are on holiday. He'll be back next week. Don't worry about it. Enjoy your day. See you later. Bye.